Hey everyone, this video is to show you how to add testimonials to your website. Now it's very easy to do. When you log into your agent panel, you're going to go to website and click on testimonials. Once you're in there, you're going to see a big green button that says add testimonial. When you click on that, it'll open up the testimonial generator. Now the most important aspect to start is to add the contact. So right here you have a button, add contact. And you're going to begin by putting the first name and last name of the primary contact who is leaving this testimonial. So in this example, I'll just add myself, Rami Nazim. You could add more information to this. However, uh, for the purpose of the testimonial, you only need the first and last name. We're going to click Add. Now that we have the contact name, we can begin adding the testimonial. So you can begin by adding the star rating. You can begin by adding the title. So in the title, at the very minimum, you should include the name, but you can also include additional details such as first time home buyer. Then you could add the testimonial in this text box. So if you want, you can of course copy paste it from somewhere else or simply type up whatever you want to add and you can adjust accordingly. So you could change the size, you can make certain elements different colors. It's completely up to you, similar to a Microsoft Word document. Now, if you want to incorporate a photo to this testimonial, you could actually, right here where it says photo, click select photo. So if I click on select photo, I could choose a photo from my computer, click open, and it will attach the photo to the testimonial. Additionally, you can also include a video. So if this testimonial has a video component, you can of course add the video URL right into this box. So for example, here's a video testimonial. I could copy this URL and in the testimonials box, I could paste the URL. When I'm done adding the testimonial, I'm simply going to click the add button. Now the testimonial has been added. So let's check it out on the website. If I go to view website, and I go to my testimonials page, you'll notice that here we have the testimonial. We have the text, we have the title, we have the star rating, the video, and the photo. So it's all here clear for you to see. Now, of course, you can always edit your testimonial by going back under website testimonial and hitting the edit button. So in here, I can, of course, remove and change my testimonial as I please press update and that will edit the existing testimonial. I can also delete the testimonial by clicking the delete button. Now this testimonial of course appears on the testimonials page. However, you could add testimonials to any page of your website and this is how you do it. If you go under website and you click on page manager, it'll open the website editor. Let's say you want to add a testimonial to a specific page. In this example, I'm going to keep it on the home page. So where it says select a page to edit, I'm already at the home page, so I'm good. Let's say I want to add the testimonial under this area in the section. So right here we have an edit button to open up the section. And now you'll notice there is a widget here called testimonial. So I could actually drag and drop that into the empty quadrant. And right here you have two options. You could do a list view or a slider view. So the list view will list all your testimonials in a row. You will, of course, you could choose how many to show. You could choose the order, the text color, and how many columns you need. You also have the slider option. So the slider option will reveal your testimonials in a carousel fashion where people can, you know, toggle left and right to view different testimonials. In this example, I only have one testimonial, so I'm going to use the list view. I'm going to show all of my testimonials. The sort order doesn't really matter, and one column. When I press add, you'll notice my testimonial has been added. I could move it up. So if I want to move it up or right above the social media, but right under the button, now we're good. And now let's preview the website. So when I go to the website, if I scroll down, you'll notice there's my testimonial. If I click on the play button, it will play the video. And of course, users can also read the text. And that's it. Very easy to do, and you can, of course, add testimonials to any page of your website. If you have any questions about this, if you ever get stuck, feel free to reach out to our support team. And just like that, using the page manager, you can, of course, remove the testimonial from a particular page. So if I hit refresh, the testimonial will no longer be there. Thank you for watching, and happy 